Well, welcome into MikoBulldogs.tv as we get ready for the, some boys action here between the Wellston Tigers and the Miko. They have been on fire. They have won a lot of games in a row. Let me count them for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An eight-game win streak. And so they have uh, they have gotten on it. And so as they take on these Wellston Tigers, like I said, 15 and 6. So we'll start with the Bulldogs. Number zero, Ashton Taylor. Number two, Brady Harris. Number five, Reed McMurtry. Number Got the selfie in. They got senior night and night. I like how they're letting the mamas get involved. That's pretty good. Number 22. Ty Evans. Colton Hunts, number 30. So there's your starting lineup. Little senior festivities for Wellston. Having a good time out there. So we'll get started here for the tip. See how the Bulldogs do against this talented game lane. Talented Wellston team should be a good matchup. We'll see how the Bulldogs come out. Wellston's going to win the tip. Going to start out in a man-to-man. -man. There's McMurtry with the steal, fast break opportunity. Gets the layup. Good start on the defense there. Went to the passing lane. There's a turnover with some full court pressure there. Back to the Bulldogs. This is what we hope to see out of the Bulldogs. We want to see them play fast and quick. Want to play in a hurry. Want to hurry their, their opponent's team up so that you can get what you want. And so it looks like they're going to start in a little 3-2 uh, zone. Looking for the open spot. They leave Harris open. Misses the first one. Anthony fighting for it. Taylor saved it. And there's going to be a travel. Wellston had a fast break chance there, but couldn't come up with anything. Over to McMurtry. He's going to get it to Harris. Ross had to go get it, and he got it. Back to Harris as they're moving this ball around. That's what you want to do, back and forth. Find those cutters. Find something in the middle, maybe, so you can pass that thing around. Work inside out. That's the kind of thought. There's a three-point shot. Open, missed. I think it was off the Bulldogs. Stay with the Tigers. They get it in wide open. Made the layup. Nice inbounds play by the Tigers. They get an easy shot there right at the rim. Ball moving around, trying to find something. Goes cross court. Gets it back to Anthony. Over to Harris. So we're going to have to figure out this zone, see where the uh, opportunities are. Skipping the pass a little bit, trying to get the defense to move. Bross will get it, does a little pump fake. 
Throws up the runner, misses. Taylor's there, and he'll miss that layup. Tigers come away with it, and they'll push it up the court. Got it in the middle. Nice little drop off, and they make an easy bucket there. Harris will take the corner three and bang. Brady Harris picks up where his sister left. The Harris is shooting from deep today. And he gets that first one. And there's going to be a foul by Taylor. He kind of runs over him from behind. That'll be the first team foul, first foul on him. Tigers will make a substitution. 21 will come in. Five minutes, 20 seconds. Another good inbounds play. Oh, he missed the easy one. Taylor comes up with a rebound. Fight for the ball a little bit. McMurtry gets right to the rim. Missed it. Hurries up the court. Dishes it to the inside. Little pump fake. Missed it. Boy, they're getting a lot of shots right at the rim. As we roll under five minutes, Miko going to have to work on keeping them out of the lane. That's going to go to the Tigers. So you can kind of see why Wellston's won so many games. They are a capable team, as you can see. So the Bulldogs are going to have to work. This is a good test for them here as they get ready for the playoffs as well. There's a three-point shot hit. That'll take them back into the lead. Over to McMurtry. It's going to be fouled. Nice little move to the baseline. A reach. So four minutes, 23 seconds. Bulldogs find themselves a couple points behind here. Get it to the middle. Kicked back out to Harris from the other corner. Yes! A Bulldog money ball. He's hitting him from both corners. Long jumper missed. There's a fight for the board. Tigers win it. Oh, and he gets a tip in somehow. And it falls in. It went high off the glass and fell in. Harris again. It's going to be fouled. Foul was on number 22. That'll be his first. Second team foul. Harris is going to get three free throw opportunities here. Got the first. So he ties it up there. You get two more chances. Got that one. So Little John's going to come in for Taylor. Martinez, Jason Martinez is going to come in for Braden Bross, Carson Littlejohn. I wanted to make sure I said his full name there, first time coming in. So Harris will hit all three of those. And he's got nine points out of the 11 right now. So going to be in a man defense still here by the uh, Bulldogs. Cross court pass, open three. Pump fakes it. I believe we're going to get a block here. And it's going to be, yep, a foul on the shot. And so he'll get some free throw opportunities. Foul was on number two, Brady Harris. That's his first foul, second team foul. Both teams have two team fouls. He makes that free throw. So pretty good back and forth so far here in this first quarter. Three minutes, 32 seconds left. That free throw made. We got a tie game. Nice back and forth so far. Got it to the corner. He'll take it with a hand in his face. Missed. Little John got the rebound, but they're able to knock it loose as he was coming down. Foul called there. That's going to be on Martinez. That'll be his first foul. Third team foul.
Got to continue to talk on defense. Got to be ready to switch when you're in this man-to-man. -man. There's a three-pointer. He was open. Got to get a hand in the face or that'll happen to you right there. Oh, and he loses it. That'll be backcourt. Well, haven't seen Kate Anthony really get into the ball game yet. Would like to see him get going. He's a big scorer for the Bulldogs. So Tigers take a 14 to 11 lead. It's been back and forth so far. See if he can get a stop here. I kick it out over to the corner. Going to get into the lane, put it up, missed it. Anthony gets the rebound. He's going to hurry it up. Gets it to Harris, puts up the rebound. He's fouled. Good pass by Kate Anthony. Nicely done. When you're not scoring sometimes, you got to find other ways to get into the ball game. And he did that. So that foul was on number 21. That's his first. So Harris will get two more chances here at the free throw line as he was fouled on that layup. He makes it. So Taylor's going to come in for Little John. Briar Reynolds comes in for Reed McMurtry. Aiden Brummel's going to come in for Martinez. Anthony and Harris are going to stay out there. And he gets that one. 14-13. Harris is going to have a seat. Braden Bross comes back in. A little full court pressure here. Oh, Taylor almost gets his hand on that steal. That'll be a block. Count the basket. Anthony tried to get there. Couldn't get there in time. So count the bucket. That's Anthony's first foul. That's the fourth team foul. Number 20 here is going to try to get himself an old-fashioned three-point play. Missed that one. Good rebound by Reynolds. Anthony pushes it up. Over to Bross. Kicks it back to Reynolds. He'll take the three. Missed it long. There's Bross for the rebound. And he's going to travel. Anthony hit that three. But Bross traveled. So earlier, Anthony tried to get that charge. He couldn't get over quite in time. It was close. Wellston's finding ways to get into the lane. Got to keep him out of the lane. There's a the layup. They have found ways to get inside. Going to have to figure out a way to put some defense on him. Anthony will take that one. Missed. Brummel with the rebound. Kicks it out to Bross. He's going to pump fake. Blocked from behind. And they'll push it up. Got a little fast break opportunity. Reynolds hustles up there and knocks it out of bounds. Good hustle by Briar Reynolds. He needed that one to keep that from being another easy basket. But the defense is going to have to figure out a way to keep him out of the lane, keep him shooting long shots. You can tell they don't want to shoot it from outside very much. They are trying to get to the lane. There's a rebound, and another easy shot. Anthony didn't want to find a foul him. The Bulldogs find themselves behind here by seven with a minute left in the first quarter. Anthony gets in the lane, and he drops it, and that's what he's going to have to be, a little more aggressive just like that. He's got such a nice touch around the rim. 45 seconds. Got to work on the switches here. Got to communicate. When you help, you got to make sure you get back to them. I get it over to the corner. Kate Anthony gets his hands in there. And it's going to go to the Bulldogs. Good job, Kate Anthony, on that defense right there. Stuck his hand in there. Created that turnover. McMurtry comes in for Brummel. Harris comes in for Reynolds with 25 seconds left. Be nice to get you a shot here at the end of the quarter. 
get a little bit closer here. Twelve seconds. Ten seconds. Seven. Five. Takes the three. And he oh, dropped it right in front of his face. And that'll be the end of the quarter. And Brady Harris has put in some points. He's dropped some baskets. And that was a tough shot right in front of us. A hand in the face. Hand down, man down. And he scored a bunch of the points, I can tell you that. 20-18, to 18. boy, this is a good game. And so we'll head to the second quarter with Wellston up 20 to 18. You can see why they've got that good record. Minko 14 and five, but Wellston 15 and six. And so they've won plenty of games too. They're a good team. They go about seven or eight deep as well, just kind of like Minko does. And so they're gonna be able to stay fresh as well, but they are a good basketball team. They love running this three, two zone. They run it a little different than the girls do. The girls like to stay down in the paint. You can see this middle of the 3-2 zone likes to pop out. But they have played nothing but this 3-2 zone. So they're going to have to find some areas to create some open areas. And so the Bulldogs will start with the basketball. Anthony's going to go. Into the lane, went baseline, got blocked. Thought he got hit in the head, but not called. Going to go to Taylor. It's Harris, McMurtry, Anthony, and Bross. Little kick out to Harris. He'll shoot it from the corner, and boom. Brady Harris on fire. The Harris family loves Wellston. They love the 1907 gym. They're on fire. Laney did her job, Brady doing his job. Benny and Emily feeling good about it. He'll shoot it from way out, misses that one, little heat check, Anthony, big rebound, nice little hook shot. And they take the lead by three now. So back and forth we go. Good defensive adjustment there. I think you got to play like they're going to drive every time. Let them shoot it. But, oh, look at that as I say it. He knocks it down. And we've got a barn burner. Good job, McMurtry, coming up with that. Got a double dribble. Brummel's going to come in. Bross comes out. Little John comes in. Taylor comes out. And now we've got five. So Brummel, Harris, Martinez, Little John, McMurtry. Oh, trying to get a steal there. Couldn't quite get it. Boy, hands are real close. They break it pretty easy. That's a good effort there by Wellston. They go right down the court. Over to Brummel. He goes baseline. Nice little pass to Martinez. And he missed the little jumper. Boy, he was close on that one. Oh, and there's the travel. Good job by Martinez. He got in the way right as he wanted to pass it. Well, you can't tell me this isn't a little bit fun, isn't it? Six minutes, 32 seconds. We're having some fun on this court. A little back and forth. This is a good ball game. Out to Martinez, stolen. And the easy left-handed layup. He read the play. Another steal. Blocked from behind, Martinez got it. Brum will have a seat, Little John will have a seat. Anthony and Taylor come back in. They're gonna stay in this man-to-man. -man. Gotta keep them out of the lane. Too many easy shots happening right now for the Tigers. A 
He's hit it from the corner. He shoots it again. Misses that one. Good rebound by Taylor. Gets it to Anthony, and they push. Over to Martinez. Back to Anthony. Little pump fake behind the back. Stuck. Jump ball. Oh, no, he's going to call a foul. Fouls on number 23. Fourth team foul. That's his first foul. Ross Reynolds comes in. Harris Martinez has a seat. Both teams have four team fouls. Got it over to McMurtry. He's going to go into the lane. He was fouled on the shot, not called. Anthony saves it. Bross comes up with it. McMurtry blocked from behind. Didn't know somebody was behind him. Another easy layup. Wellston getting after it. Miko needs to make a run. Ball tipped. So sub comes in. Five minutes, 25 seconds. Miko's going to settle this down just a little bit. They need to get a little score here in a sec. Ball almost blocked, almost taken, taken again. A little too careless with the ball. Wellston's got active hands. They are making them work. They're going to have to take care of that ball, have to have crisp passes, got to know where you're going before you do it. Can't telegraph it because they're ready to jump on it in this zone. They're ready to get in those passing lanes. Twenty-nine, twenty-three. Four minutes, 45 seconds. Fouled from behind. A foul was on number 30. That'll be the fifth team foul. That was his first foul. So Reynolds will have a seat. Harris will come back in. So Bross, McMurtry, Harris, Anthony, Taylor. Baseline. Nice little, nice little move as he floated in the air, gathered himself, got fouled. Count the bucket. Miko needed that one. See if he can make his free throw here. Nice job by Anthony. That foul was on number 11. That's his first foul. Sixth team foul, so they foul one more time. Four minutes, 27 seconds left in the second quarter. Miko will go into the one and ones. He makes that free throw, old fashioned three point play right there. So good, good trip down the court for the Bulldogs there. Need to stop again here. See if they can go on a little bit of a run. Cross court pass. Boy, Wellston moves that ball quick, don't they? Missed everything. He tries to save it, he does. Cross-court pass again. They like that corner, missed that one. Fight for the rebound. Taylor wins it, but he stepped out of bounds as he caught it. So that'll stay with Wellston. Wide open for a three. Missed it. Blocked by McMurtry. Blocked again by McMurtry, but this time a foul. So that'll be McMurtry's first foul, fifth team foul. This is number 11. Wellston just kind of relentless here, aren't they? It's been a fun back and forth game. Three minutes, 55 seconds. And he gets both of them. We'll take a five point lead. Over to Harris, he takes a quick three. Missed it, rebound Wellston. Got into the lane, floated it up, missed that one. McMurtry pushes it ahead. 
Nice job getting into the lane and a nice layup. Good aggressiveness there by McMurtry. He had a couple options, but he took his athleticism, was able to make it. And I believe they called a charge on that one. Number 20, that's his second foul, seventh team foul. So good job getting the uh, charge call. That was Anthony down there, I believe. Might have been Harris. Couldn't see. The camera got in my way. Three minutes, 11 seconds. McMurtry goes baseline, throws a no look. But the defender, that number 21, plays good defense. He's been in the lane quite a few times in those passing lanes, come up with a couple steals. So got to be sure of your passes. They are putting their hands on the ball. Two very similar teams, is it not? Play very active. Two minutes, 45 seconds. Went baseline, ooh, nice up and under. Nice athletic play there. Anthony put that up off the top of the glass. Rebound Wellston, and they'll come back down two on two. Missed Anthony rebound. Good job there, not fouling. Got his hand in the way. Tried to get it to Bross. The referee says it went off of his hands. Bross will come out. Harris will come out. Reynolds and Martinez will come on. Down to the corner is open. There's a foul. Anthony tried to get up and get that one. Got him on the hand. That'll be his second foul. And the sixth team foul. So next time Minko fouls, it'll be a one and one as well. Missed the first free throw. So Bross comes back in for Reynolds. He gets the second one. 34-28, two minutes left in this first half. Taylor stripped from behind. Wellston pushes it up, they'll take the three. Missed, Anthony rebound, he's gonna push it up the court. Nice little move. Puts it over the SWAT, makes the layup. 34 30, one minute, 35 seconds. Open in the corner, they don't throw it to him. He traveled, and it is called. He drugged that back foot. Harris comes in, Taylor will come out. Minute 30. Trying to make a little run here before the second quarter's over. You want to see if you can make a little run, get back into this thing. Lazy pass, knocked out of bounds. Stays with the Bulldogs, got lucky there. Over to Martinez, to Brady, Harris, Anthony. Faked it, he's gonna take the jump shot, bam. Nothing but string music. Anthony's heating up. Bulldogs back in at 34-32. Bross gets his hands on it, comes up with the steal, pushes it up to Martinez. He's too far back, and he takes an extra step. Couldn't get control of it. We're under a minute. Brummel comes in. Harris will have a seat. Another sub. McMurtry comes in. Foul on McMurtry there. That'll make it a one and one. 
I didn't really see it. My eyes were looking somewhere else. Sorry about that. So we've got Anthony. That was a lot of happening there. Sorry. Anthony Martinez, Harris, Brummel, and Bross in. Free throw hit. This is on the one and one. So he hits the front end, get a second chance here. 58 seconds left. A lot of subbing going on by Coach Hill, a little offense for defense. Hits that one. Up to Harris, got it to Bross. Back to Brummel. Looks for the lane, out to Anthony, he'll go baseline. Brummel will take the three, missed everything. Rebound, Wellston. Thirty-eight seconds. Brummel fouling way up top. That's not where you want to foul. Because that makes it a one and one. You don't want to do that right there. So eight team fouls. McMahon will come in for Brummel. Yeah, you didn't want that one. You had a chance to kind of come back in this thing and you let him get it with a couple free throws. Really not even close to the basket. He had one foul way down here on the inbounds play on the uh, other side of the court. They get a one and one, hit both of them. And then you get a foul at the half court, get a one and one, and they're going to get both of those. And so four points that are really not needed. Got to do better than that to finish the quarter. Over to Bross. He hadn't really found his three-point stroke yet. Hadn't put up any shots, really. Like to see him get a little more aggressive. Anthony, ball stolen, 18 seconds. Going to be fouled. Oh, he's going to call a charge. Ooh, I don't know about that one. If I was Wellston, I would not be happy about that. 14 seconds left. A foul was on number 11. That's his second foul. I guess he pushed off there. I couldn't really see if he extended. Maybe he did. But I don't know about that one. Could just call him like I see it, everybody. Call him like I see it. So here we go, last shot, 10 seconds. Seven. Three-point good look shot. Oh, just missed it. Martinez, two seconds, through his hands. McMahon will throw it up. Oh, and off the rim. And so that'll be the end of the half. And we'll go to halftime. The Wellston Tigers, the home team, 38. The Minko Bulldogs, 32. Really, really good game between both teams that have really good records. And it's going to be a dogfight to see who comes out with a W. And so we'll be back here in about eight minutes, and we'll get you going for this second half.
Well, we'll get ready here for the second half. We've had a fun one, haven't we, so far in this game? So the Bulldogs find themselves behind by six, 38-32. The Wellston Tigers, the home team, fill in the crowd on senior night and have played really well. And so they have uh, gotten after it. They've been in the passing lane. They've been able to get into the paint, to create a lot of shots. The Bulldogs have had to fight for everything that they've uh, got. And they find themselves six points behind. And so I think it's defensively. They got to get better a little defensively. Get a little more pressure on that ball. Create more opportunities for easier baskets. And the offensive side, just get aggressive. Shoot that ball. Go get in the lane. See if they'll foul you. Stay away from the silly fouls. Good job there staying in front. Extend the defense all the way out to the logo. Cross court pass to the corner. He'll take it and he'll make it. Had a hand in the face. But it did not matter. Sometimes you have to do good defense. The offense just is better. That's what happened right there. Cross court pass. Harris will try to return the favor. Misses it. Taylor gets it. It's going to be knocked out of his hand. No foul call, just knocked out of his hand, so it'll stay with the Bulldogs. Bross will take the three. Yes! And that was somebody I was hoping that would start shooting the ball there in the first half. He hadn't put up many shots. He's got a sweet stroke. He takes advantage of that one right there, 41-35. Looks like the uh, Bulldogs are going to kind of do the same defense, 3-2. Going to make them move that ball around a little bit more. Trying to keep them out of the lane. Long three-pointer, swish. So number 21, he's had a good game. Good ball player, Anthony. Gets in the lane, throws up a sky hook, and it falls. Completely extended. 44-37. Another three-point chance. Miss. Taylor rebounds. He'll pull it up and get it to Anthony. Anthony, oh, there's Bross. A long three. Missed. Taylor skied for it. Couldn't get it. Fouled from behind. Reed McMurtry with his third foul. <coughs> so McMurtry will come out, first team foul. So good defense there. Kind of staying in this 3-2 zone, trying to get in their faces. Keep them out of the lane, I think, is the hope. Got to the lane, put it up, missed it short. Taylor rips that rebound down. Reynolds in the game, gets it up to Anthony. Anthony over to Bross. He'll make a little fake, go baseline. Stopped in his tracks, gets it back to Anthony. Anthony will get into the lane, put it up off the glass, and the bank's open. Even this late. 44-39. There's straight in the lane. Nice layup. That's number 21 again. Going to have to get in front of him. Going to have to pay attention where he's at. So they call another play. Over to Reynolds. Into Anthony in the middle. He'll take the jump shot. Missed it. Rebound. Wellston. Cross court pass. They like that corner. They get it to that corner. Missed. Going to have to rebound. Anthony gets his hand on it. He'll push it up the court. It's going to go with the left. Oh, just a little too hard. But there was Harris. 
as he tips it back in. Didn't even hit the ground. He hit, caught it, and shot it. As we're down to four minutes, 10 seconds here in the third quarter. It's been a good game from the start to, to this moment. Nice post move right there. Got it down deep. Once again, Wellston kind of getting what they want, it seems like. Finding themselves in the lane, getting a post-up shot, getting the threes that they want. Defense is just going to have to anticipate a little bit better, I believe. Figure out what they're trying to do and get there. There's Harris for a three. Missed it. Rebound, Bross. Missed it. Got blocked. Fouled Harris on the three-point. So that's his second foul. Harris will get three chances here. Gets the first. A good chance for the Bulldogs to kind of settle here. It's a fast-paced game. Three minutes, 35 seconds. Gets the second one. Mr. Harris has got quite a few points. I haven't asked how many he's got. Looks like Martinez, Brummel, and Dason McMurtry is going to come in. Harris and Reynolds will stay out there. And so he hits that one. So he got all three. 48-44. McMahon also comes in, so everybody's sub for So a whole new five right here. We're going to go full court pressure. He wanted to put some pressure on these Tigers, get these defensive players in their face. He's going to play a man-to-man. -man. Mc McMahon was beat and then dropped off for an easy two. McMurtry brings it up, gets it to McMahon. He'll change gears over to Brummel. Goes baseline, gets it to Reynolds. He dropped it. Fight for the ball. He comes up with it, and it'll be a tie ball. That ball will go to Minko. Six-point lead here for the – so Anthony and Harris come back in. McMahon and McMurtry come back out. That's Dason. Three minutes, one seconds. Ooh, Anthony with a turnaround J. J meaning jumper. Charge. Brady Harris giving up his body to get that ball back. Third foul on number 20. Good job by Brady Harris. Good anticipation there. Reynolds will have a seat. Riley Beck will come out. So Martinez, Harris, Anthony, Brummel, Beck. Getting all sorts of players in tonight. Over to Beck, back to Harris. They're going to try to move this ball around. Over to Brummel. Anthony inside, no look to Martinez, but somebody was ready, number 21, who evidently knows where everybody's going and is in every passing lane, it seems like this evening. Long pass, almost backcourt, didn't happen. Martinez trying to stay in front here, does a good job. Jump shot missed, good defense by Martinez. Gonna call a carry. Little John will come in for Anthony. Two minutes, five seconds. Not very many fouls called in this quarter. Martinez, good job getting that postman out of the post. Got to the lane, good no foul. Rebound Harris. He's gonna get around him. Pushes it up the course, got it to Brummel. He stops, get it to Little John. He tried to get it to Harris. Martinez comes up with it. Beck gets it over to Brummel. Brummel will get in the lane, drops it off to Little John. Nice little pass, and Little John pays it off. Brummel with a nice little dime right there. 50-48. Minko's fought all the way back into this thing. They've got a bunch of guys that have played JV this 
just a little bit ago out on the court. There's the corner. Got to get there. Got him out of it. There's a three-point shot. Made. A little too late. Ball got moved around. They couldn't catch up. Got it to Little John. He fights for it inside, and he's fouled as he forced it up. 57 seconds. Two shots. That foul was on number 30, his second. They, the Tigers have three team fouls. He misses the first. Need these free throws, don't they? So it looks like Bross, Taylor, and Anthony will come in. Leave Martinez and Little John on the court. Puts this one up, misses that one. There's a fight for it. Anthony comes up with it. Martinez popped it out there. Over to Bross. Can't find anything. Foul, that was on number 12. That's his first foul, but fourth team foul. Oh, Braden Bross barely got it. Came up with that ball and bang! Three-point shot, Braden Bross. Shoot that ball, son. Shoot it a little more. 34 seconds. Open in the corner. He'll take it. He just made one, and he made another one. Got to get a hand in the face. 25 seconds. Over to Taylor, to Bross. Back to Anthony. He's going to kind of reset here. 15 seconds. You can see it on the camera there. Over to Martinez as we drop down to eight, seven, five. Martinez up and under. Oh, what a scoop shot by Martinez. And that's the buzzer. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. We'll head to the fourth quarter with the Wellston Tigers 56, the Minko Bulldogs 53. The Bulldogs have played behind the whole third quarter, but they've edged a little bit closer and a little bit closer. So we're going to come down to this fourth quarter, and we're going to see who's got it, who can come up with this W on a Friday night. Both teams have subbed a lot of players, and so it's been a fast-paced game, though. It's been upbeat, and we'll see who's in shape or who's not. We'll see if those legs can stay fresh enough to keep hitting shots. Each team is hitting some big shots. A lot of players making big ones. This has been fun back and forth. The Wellston Tigers have four team fouls. Minko only one team foul. And so they've been good about not letting them get on that free throw line. Maybe Minko can begin to take advantage and get to that free throw line and start knocking them down. Wellston to start out with the ball. And so it'll be their basketball. Minko will start out on defense. Looks like we're going to have Taylor. Harris, Martinez, Anthony, and Bross in for the Bulldogs. Looks like they're going to be in a man-to-man. -man. Good switch there. Got in the paint. He's fouled on the shot. Bross got a little too close. That'll be the second team foul. That'll be his first foul. This is number 12 that's going to get two free throw opportunities. Missed the first one. Makes the second. They hurried up the court. Got it to Harris, got it back to Bross. He'll take the three, and he is hot. Braden Bross making me a profit. Told him I wanted to see him shoot. There he goes. He's hit three this quarter, this half. There's a long shot. Bross comes down with it. He's fouled from behind. He was pushed. That'll be on number 30. That's his third foul, fifth team foul. 
So getting edging a little bit closer to that bonus. Got to get to seven team fouls for that bonus. One point lead for Wellston. It's been a long time since Miko has been on top. They could right here. And there's number 11. He almost got in that passing lane. Got to, can't telegraph it. Got to be crisp. Got to be quick. Got to make sure they're open. No turnovers. Got to take care of the ball. Martinez tries to go baseline. He's shut off. But it's going to be called for the foul. That was on number 20. I believe that's number four. So he's going to have to come out of the basketball game. He got both hands on it. They didn't like it, but you can't put both hands on a body. That's a block. You can't. It's just a foul every time. You can get one on there, but you can't get two. And so the 16 foul, next next defensive foul by West, Wellston is a one and one. So got it to Bross. He's going to get in the lane. Throws up a, a raindrop. And the rain's fallen. And Miko takes the lead for the first time in a long time with seven minutes left in this game. Missed it. Harris fights for it. Taylor comes up with it. Gives it to Anthony. He pushes it forward. Gets into the lane. The floater missed. Gets the rebound off the glass. Yes! 60-57. There's a three-point shot. Missed. Taylor rebounds. Gets it to Anthony. Six minutes and 30 seconds. Over to Harris to the corner. He's hit a bunch. Misses that one. Short on that one. Got to use your legs. So Wellston trying to get set up. Missed the shot. Going to call a foul. So they kind of cleared the lane out for 21 just to go one-on-one. -on -one and he, he made it happen. Foul on Brady. No, foul on Martinez. Jason Martinez, that's his second foul. Third team foul. Misses the first free throw. Six minutes, 13 seconds. Timeout, Wellston. Going to call a 30-second timeout. And the Bulldogs fought all the way back into this thing. They went down by eight at one point. But they have fought back into this thing and have found themselves with a three-point lead. As they have fought hard. This has been fun, folks, haven't it? If you're watching tonight, you've watched the right game. You're in the courtside seats here with our camera right on the court. <laughs> Getting to watch this up close and personal. Six minutes, 13 seconds to see who can come up with the W. Both teams with good records. This should be interesting. This is going to be a battle to the end, I'm sure of it. So it looks like Riley Beck's going to come in. So it's Anthony McMurtry as well came in. So Anthony McMurtry, Beck, Bross, Harris. One more free throw chance here. Misses it. Rebound McMurtry. Up to Bross. Over to Anthony. Over to Beck. Back to Anthony. He's put him out there to shoot it. Anthony. Oh, he misses one. He never misses those. Rebound, Wellston pushes it up. Nowhere to go. McMurtry from a long ways tried to get to that. There's a three-point shot made, tied up. Took a chance on trying to get a steal and it did not pay off. Beck fakes it. Oh, Bross can't get his hand on it. So Bross will have a seat, Beck will have a seat. Martinez and Taylor comes in. So we got Harris, McMurtry, Anthony, Taylor, Martinez. With five minutes, 30 seconds, we got a tie ball games, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to come up with a stop. Man gets right into the lane, right to the rim. And he has scored a bunch, number 21, heck of a player. Not sure why he was an honorary starter. He should be a starter. Got it. Tried to get it down low. Anthony somehow come up with that ball. He'll take the jumper. 
missed his last couple. Needs to get back under control. Another easy shot. Got to stop him way out front. And back and forth we go. Martinez all the way to the rim. Taylor with the big rebound. Brady Harris, oh, missed the three. Another fight off the shoes of the Bulldogs. There was three of them trying to grab that board. Four minutes, 35 seconds. Going to create a little bit of full court pressure here, see how they do with it. Ten second clout, getting close, couldn't get it. Open for the corner three, missed it. Got lucky, he was wide open. Taylor with the rebound, push it back up. Anthony looking for a lane to go. Harris is going to bring it out up top. Over to Bross, he'll take the three. Ooh, missed that one. There's Taylor with the putback, and yes, sir. Good rebound and put back by Ashton Taylor. Trying to create this pressure again. He's stuck. He gets it past. Bross tried to get his hand on it. He's been called for the foul. That'll be the fifth team foul or fourth team foul. Second foul on Braden Bross. Three minutes, 53 seconds. Got it down low. Nobody was there. Got lost down low. 66-62. McMurtry down low. Oh, he's right there, but he pops it out to Brady. Harris, who's going to be fouled. Fouls on 30. That's number four on him. That's the second Tiger with four fouls. 17 fouls should be a one and one, and it is. So Harris will get a one and one opportunity. Timeout called. A full timeout called. Wellston. Well, three minutes, 34 seconds, 66 to 62 here. Bulldogs battled back, got the lead for just a little bit, and Wellston went on a run of their own. And so the Bulldogs are going to have to fight back with three minutes, 34 seconds left to see if they can come away with a W. I think if you're Minko here, you've got the one and one. See if you can get both of these. I like their idea of full court pressure. You just got to make sure when you get back, you got to have all, you got to find everybody. Somebody's got to get somebody. That last time down, they tried to get the ball out of number 21's hands, which I, I agree with that call. But once you double him, you got to start finding everybody else because they found the open man pretty quick. So Harris will get to shoot a one and one here. Makes the first. Makes them both. Those are big. He shot the ball well. Ross is going to get a push. That's his third foul, fifth team foul. Three minutes, 31 seconds. Oh, he threw it away. That's what that full court pressure does. Sometimes you don't get a steal. Sometimes you don't get uh, anything like that, but you just create speed, you create hurry. And sometimes you can create a turnover with a bad pass. And that's exactly what happened there with that full court pressure. 
So Wellston stays in this 3-2 zone. It's worked all game. Harris looking for a shot, not there. McMurtry's going to get in the lane. Nice drive. Couldn't get it in. Went to the left hand, but couldn't get enough spin off the glass to get it to go in. Anthony's going to guard Mr. 21, who's had a lot of points tonight. Whole team's good, though. Two minutes, 42 seconds. McMurtry bats it down. Two minutes, 32 seconds. McMurtry almost gets his hand on that one. Oh, he counts it. Brady Harris tried to set up for the uh, charge, but he doesn't get it. He's going to get called for the foul. And so make the basket gets a chance at another free throw. Misses it. Long rebound by Anthony. He chases it down. Throws it from behind, can't get it. Would like to see him go up a little bit stronger. Got to get the foul on that one, I thought. A lot of body on that one. Coach Hill's going to get a T. So 68-64, got a couple free throw opportunities here. Get the ball back. He makes the first one. Two minutes and 10 seconds. Gets them both. Well, that one hurts right there. You want the T, that's for sure. Got it inside, makes that. This game got out of, got a hand of hand real quick. Four quick points on one possession. Got it to McMurtry. Slides it over to Bross for the open corner. Too long. Wide open, fast break chance. He carries that one, got lucky. One minute, 51 seconds. The Bulldogs have to come up with something quick. Over to Bross, gets it to the lane, fouled. Good drive there, getting to the basket. That's the eight team foul. There's seven team fouls on the Bulldogs, so you can stop the clock with the foul, that's for sure. So that foul was on number 11, that's his third foul. Bross, oh, in and out, that thing went halfway down. I will say, Number 21 hasn't shot free throws great. So if you want to start fouling, that would be the one that you might want to go foul. So Bross will try to get this one. Oh, he misses both, but there's McMurtry. Bross will take the three, miss it. There's Martinez over to McMurtry. So called for a foul, called a block on number 22. That's his second foul. So we'll get another chance at some free throws here. Need to see if we can make these. McMurtry will get this opportunity. Good rebound, good move there. Missed him. See, this is where you got to hit free throws. Three missed him right in a row. Especially in a tight game, you got to make those. And gets that one to drop. 72-65, minute 34. Seven-point lead. I think you try to go for the steal, four-court press. If you foul, you foul. 
I think you just try to be super aggressive here, trying to steal the ball. I don't think you want a whole lot of time to go off. Uh, number 11 looks like a good free throw shooter, but some of the others haven't shot the ball so well from the free throw. That's about all they haven't done great. They've done everything else really good. And so, Wellston's just gone on a run at the right time. And so Bulldogs are gonna have to come up with a miracle here to get back into this thing. But maybe, can you get a steal? Can you get a turnover? Maybe you can get some missed free throws. Go down and hit your shots. Just edge this thing a little bit closer as we get closer to a minute. So minute 34. Got it in, that's who I think we should foul. No foul there. Cross court pass, he's wide open. Two, minute 17 now, there's the foul. So one and one here for number 21. That's kind of what I was thinking. That foul was on Bross, that's his fourth foul. Eighth team foul. So McMurtry, Dason will head out. Harris comes back in. Missed, just like I said. They'll push it up, McMurtry pushes it up. Looking for something in the lane, nothing there, hesitates. Gets it, there's a foul. Clock stopped with a minute seven, chance to get a few more. That foul was on number 11, that's his fourth foul. So they've got a few guys with four fouls. Short, ooh. So Minko's had some opportunities here. And they've missed a bunch here at the end. That's four misses, one make. Got that one. So same thing. Try to create that turnover if you got a foul, foul. There's the foul. So this will be the last one and one. That foul's on Anthony. That's number three on him. So this will be the last one and one in the game. Wellston's got 10 team fouls, so it'll be two shots no matter what on a foul for them. We're down to a minute, one second. Left in this fun, fun game we've had. Six point lead, see if they can miss another free throw. And he knocks it down. Well, you made two of six on the other end here in this last couple of minutes on free throws. That would make a difference right here. And he knocked them both down. So the lead back up to eight. Anthony comes down, take a quick three. Oh, rimmed it. And there's a foul. That'll be Anthony's fourth foul, I believe. With 53 seconds, it is his fourth foul. So this will be two free throw chances. Missed it. Well, got to go down and hit that three. Got to put some shots in. Got to get some prayers in. Makes the second one. Nice little move there. There's the layup. So 75 68 with 45 seconds left. That's what you got to do right there to get back in the save. Well, down by seven. Need a steal, don't we? Need a turnover, need a fumble. Something like that from Wellston, but they've done a good job taking care of the ball. Really good team. It's surprising they're not ranked in Class A watching them. I, I, I mean, watching them play, I, I, don't, I don't know how there's 20 teams better than this Wellston team in Class A. Uh, if they stay unranked, they're going to 
they're going to cause some trouble in the Class A uh, playoffs because uh, they're a good ball team. And they get, they run deep. They run about eight deep. And so really good team. So here we go, 45 seconds. Want a steal. Getting close to the five. He gets it in. There's foul. That's the one you didn't want to foul. He's been hitting his free throws. So Dason McMurtry gets that foul. That's his first. We are past the double bonus. Forty-three seconds. So did that quickly. That's what you want. Now you're just hoping for some missed free throws. And he gets that one. Either you gotta start hitting threes while they're making two, or you need them to start missing. Makes them both. Anthony comes down, passes it over to Bross, back to Anthony. He'll take the three. He's off to the right. Rebound, Martinez puts it up, and it goes in. 30 seconds. 77-70 with 29.8 seconds. And we're just trading off two points at a time. Can't quite edge a little bit closer. What if you get one of those threes to fall? That would be fun. So 29 seconds left. If you're Minko, you want something good to happen. Like I said, they've been hot. They've been on a win streak. But they come into Wellston, who was prepared. They've got good size, good speed, coached well. And so hats off to Wellston. Minko trying to get back into this some way, somehow. There's the foul by Martinez. So fouled the wrong guy again. Wellston doing a good job getting it into their free throw shooter's hands. Their best free throw shooter, it looks like. That's number three on Martinez. And so he's been able to knock these down. And he misses one. Opens the door a little bit. Here's a second chance. And he makes that one. 78-70, eight-point game. 25 seconds. There's the foul with 20 seconds. So that's number five on number 20. So he'll foul out with 20 seconds left in the game. Coach is going to take his time to figure out who he wants in. So Jason Martinez here is going to have a couple free throw opportunities here. He'll get two. Makes the first. Kind of wonder if sometimes if you want to miss and see if you can get the rebound, huh? You'll make them both. Need a steal. Got it to 11. He'll be fouled with 16 seconds. That'll be Kate Anthony's fifth foul. And he'll foul out of this game. So Riley Beck's going to come in. Coach Hill's going to take his time and talk to Mr. Beck before he goes in. And so Beck will come in. Anthony will have a seat. Played a good game. Scored a lot of points. Played some good defense. Boy, this was a fun game on the road. It's a tough one. Good crowd. Wilson's got good fans, man. It's a good, 
Good team. I bet they make a run in the playoffs. We'll have to watch, huh? So he makes that one. Seven point game. Makes that eight. Got it to Martinez. Oh, bad pass by Martinez. Layup missed. And that'll be ball game. Well, that'll be the final. The Wellston Tigers 82, the Miko Bulldogs 72. They get their first loss. And that'll be the it.